Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. Uh, please check the link in the description for the article. This will give you the instructions that you need to learn how to get the server running because we're going to be going over the software itself. We don't need to necessarily talk about how to get the server installed, but it uses Node.js and all the information is in the description. But uh, if you check this out, this is how you run the server. Open up a terminal, cd into this folder here, and like I said, the commands are all in the description, but uh, you just need this command right here and it will start up. Then you can just go to the new tab, go to localhost, and then 8080, and then we will load up the system. Now, as you can see, Linux Dash can show you a lot of different information. I installed this on my desktop computer, but most people are running this on a server. And the reason is, is because it gives you a nice dashboard. You can look at the ROM, the RAM processes, the CPU processes, disk partitions, what is being used, and uh, as well as the swap file, the amount of swap, CPU utilization, got an average load, and my average load is about 10% and uh, also our used RAM and our available RAM. Go to our basic info, you've got the OS name, kernel image, the uh, version number, host name, uptime, server time, and you've got all a bunch of memory info, CPU info, your scheduled cron jobs and the jobs that are going on here. Uh, you can expand that like this if you'd like to. And any of these can expand like this, but uh, you can also go to network. You see a lot of network information, IP address and all of that. Then we've got the uh, accounts and the accounts would be like the, you know, the root, daemon, bin, you know, all of these different user informations. Then we've also got the logged in accounts and the apps and the apps would be like your PHP, your Node.js, SQL, Mongo, Vim, Python and stuff like that. So just a pretty basic dashboard system that you can set up for your server if you're looking to manage it maybe just get some more information uh it's open source it's on github and uh like i said just check it out below and you'll learn how to get it installed anyways guys this has been derek and i will see you in the next video